Hello and welcome to my video. In this video, I will be unboxing the RX Prescription at Home Colo Guard Screening Test. This is a test to help detect and prevent early stages of colorectal cancer. This is an at home screening test that your doctor needs to write you a prescription for. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set this down and show you what comes in the box. But first I want to show you on this box, there is a date. And you want to make sure when you they send you this box that this date is not out of date because there, it, there are some preservatives, liquid preservatives in here that you need to uh, use. So you want to make sure that's not out of date. So this is the top of the box and uh, the size of the box. So I'm going to set it down and we're going to take a look inside of the Colo Guard box. And again, this is the Colo Guard collection kit. That's what it says there. Open it up. You're going to see there's two flaps. And it's going to show you the Cola Guard collection kit. What all comes in this box. It shows you right here all these items that comes in the box. You're going to open the box up. And then inside the box, you have this plastic bag. So I'm going to... In the plastic bag has this like ziplock seal that seals open. So you're going to unseal it, open it up, and let's look inside. Let me see if I can turn it sideways so you can kind of see. So the first thing is you got why screening for colon cancer is so important. And the reasons are it is a uh, colon cancer is the second leading cause of cancer related deaths in the United States and then your risk increases after the age of 50 and about 70 percent of people with colon cancer have no family history and if caught in early stages colon cancer is treatable in about 90 percent of people so you know instead of taking a colonoscopy which will detect much more polyps in the colon. This is a test that will uh, screen at not 100%, but there is a percentage that this will screen for any polyps or in detect of abnormal cell DNA. So what comes in the box, you get a colo guard patient guide. And I'm just going to open this up here and show you that Talks about the table of contents, the color guard warnings and precautions. What does color guard test result mean? You want to talk about your positive, your negative, and no results obtained. So we'll go over that. And it's going to show you what is inside of the color guard collection kit. So you're going to get the outer box here. Inside the box, you're going to get a stool collection container, a tube, how to return your kit, patient guide instructions, labels, the bracket which opens up and sets on the toilet seat, and then the bottle of liquid preservative, this here. This is why you want to make sure this, this stuff is not out of date, uh, which is correlated on the side of the box. And then it says who should use ColoGuard. Definitely men and women over 25 years or older, or those who are at average risk for colorectal cancer. Is ColoGuard right for you? Let's keep kind of go just do a check through the box of uh, the book. What should I know before using the Cola Guard collection kit? So definitely you want to leave this plastic bag inside the box. Do not remove it and don't pull it out. It's kind of glued in there, but do not remove this plastic bag. Then it goes on and talks about 
the check the expiration date on the kit which I showed you in the beginning of this video then step one you're going to talk about the patient guide instructions all these items step two pr prepare and collect the stool sample step two continued goes on down it shows you how to take the bracket and it shows you how to open it up and put it um, under the toilet seat. That's the toilet lid. That's the toilet seat. And that's the toilet course. But you're going to put it under the toilet seat and then shut the toilet lid down on it. And uh, then it's going to talk about how you're going to open up the container and put down in the bracket to where you will uh, have your stool sample in there. And then you're going to add then you're going to use the like a dropper so you have to literally sit on the stool yes you have to do this but you really need to do this anyone uh, 45 years old or older who doesn't want to go under a colonoscopy when you have a colonoscopy you will go under anesthesia and a colonoscopy is almost like uh, five thousand dollars in united states so this is a lot cheaper it's at home. There's no preparation for it at all. This is great for those who just don't want to go through a colonoscopy, or you can do this as a pretest. Then you're going to throw your items away. You're going to put everything. You're going to use your um, the little stool. Where well, you're going to use what's this thing called? It's like a little probe thing that you're going to uh, collect your stool sample in. And then you're going to scrape the surface of the stool to cover this little scraper. And then you're going to put a lid on that. And then close it up. You're going to open up the little container and you're going to pour in the preservative liquid. Turn, turn to close tightly. And then seal it tightly. And then you can put everything back. In the box, you're going to use your labels. You're going to use your labels to put around the um, stool sample collector probe. And then you can put your labels on the actual lid uh, container here. And then it's going to show you how to box it all back up in the box. And then properly throw everything away, and then you're going to take it to UPS, and they're going to pick it up and take it to the lab, which will only take a very short time for the results. But also what comes in the box, you have the labels. They have, they're stickers. They peel off. You're going to put one of the labels around the little collection kit what's that thing it's a a scraper and then you're going to put one on the lid of the container and this is how you're going to fill it out like your name the date of your date of birth the date of collection and the time of collection will be will go on both of these then you're going to have color guard how to return your kit Again, it's going to show you how to prepare your kit for shipment. Return your kit using UPS. Ways to return your kit. Okay. Okay, so let's get started, kind of another uh, guide. Also, you've got, you can watch videos if you're just unsure about uh, or you have anxiety that you don't do the steps correctly because there are a lot, a lot of steps. Or you can call somebody and you can do live chat if you have any questions. You're going to open this up and it's going to give you three steps to set up your collection kit. Then it's going to have one, two, three steps to collect your stool sample. And then it's going to have ship your collection three steps there. So... You're going to have all your items. You're going to check the items. You're going to put the bracket under the toilet seat. 
and then you're going to uh, lower the seat and you're going to unscrew screw the uh, collection container and put it down in the middle and then you're going to sit on the toilet and have a bowel movement and it says it doesn't have to be a perfect bowel movement but i've never knew there was a perfect one then you're going to um, unscrew the probe and you're going to collect that you're going to be like a scientist collecting dna and then you're going to put the probe back in the uh, and seal it properly you're going to pour in your preservatives then you're going to fill out both labels on the probe and the container and then you're going to place the container in the tube back into the white tray in the original shipping box and then you're going to ship it so that's now let's get into looking at the items so what should come in this box is you have the shipping box how to return your kit liquid preservative the collection container patient guide labels tube in probe in the bracket all right so we're going to open up the box again the bag does not come out it's glued in so i'm going to take out the first thing here this is the toilet seat bracket let me move this over here just a little bit get that out of the way so you have the toilet bracket here this opens up and this sits down over the toilet seat let's pretend this is a toilet seat we'll put that over the toilet seat and these will go open this goes under the toilet seat then the toilet seat lid will come down over top of it and then they'll be hold there then we're going to take the box and we're going to, then you're going to take out the container let's move this back a little bit I'm going to take out the container and uh, of course it has these numbers and stuff on the side for the lab and then it's going to say open and close with arrows on it it's plastic very tough plastic let's open it up so it's a lid and that's where your stool sample will go in so we're going to take this container and put down in the middle uh, which will not fit down in here sorry about that i didn't know that let's remove that yep i just dropped that tent so i'm going to drop this down in there so here's your toilet seat and then you'll do your stool sample in there then you're going to take you're going to pull out the this is the tube this is where you're going to do your chemistry kind of like being in chemistry class and you're going to open up this tube there's liquid in there which i'm not going to open now because it might uh it make it expired but you'll take that out and then you'll do, have your stool sample um, you do not want to have diarrhea. You want to have like a solid stool. And um, then you're going to take, pull out the probe here. And you're going to get some of the stool sample on the probe. Then you're going to put it back down inside here. Then you're going to take this preservative liquid. Don't open it now. I'm not going to open it at all. And then you're going to pour this onto the stool sample it's okay if the preservative doesn't completely overfill the uh, stool sample it's fine then you're going to take the lid and you're going to pull this off so we're done with the toilet seat i'm going to lock this down very tightly so it kind of clicks in So then this does not go in here. You're going to take this separately 
and you're going to come over here and you're going to get you're going to fill out your labels there's one label two labels and they peel off with stickers you're going to wrap one label around the probe stick fill them out first it has to be filled out just like this your name your date of birth the date of collection and the time of collection and make sure it's am or pm they have to know that very important put the label on here and then put the label on the top here then you're going to take your probe and down inside the box right here you can see a plastic container don't take that out that is connected into the box this is very important this probe is going to lock back down inside here, right there. Let me see if I can just put it in right there. It locks in. It doesn't come out. Then you're going to take the preservative. Remember, there's liquid in here, so don't shake it all up. Just put it down in there like that. Your labels are on there. You're going to push down in the bag. And pull the bag, seal it back, fold it, fold it, close it, close it, and then you're going to close this. And then here is a sticky peel. You want to peel that off and seal it back down in. Then you're going to either call ups and they will come to your house. Uh, again, if you and, or you can take it and deliver this to ups. If you have any quest, or you can then you're going to go online and you're going to sign up for Color Guard um, online site to so you can get your results very. Quickly. So this again, these are the things that comes in the color guard. You've got your probe, your box, your kit, your plastic lid, you have your preservatives, you've got the toilet bracket right there. Just like that. You can see that. And then you've got your all this information. You've got your labels which you need to have. Set everything back here so you can see it all in the shot. And then you have your color guard information, your color guard patient guide, um, which you can't see all in the shot. I'm trying to get them in there. And then more information and then what all comes in this kit. So there's a lot. So there. So I'll put that right here. I do hope this video is helpful again this is much cheaper than having a colonoscopy a colonoscopy uh the results are going to be much more uh statistically better than this test but this test has a uh, statistical value in this test so in all that information is in here when you talk about the color guard uh, what are the statistics? How much does it show? Uh, how great are the results? Um, and all that. So anyways, I do hope this video was helpful again. And thank you for watching the unboxing of the Color Guard Prescription of Prevention and Screening Colon Cancer Video.